something we stumbled upon at the Provocraft booth. This is a brand new, um, so you take your scrapbook page, this is perfect for a gift album or just a small album, and you actually professionally bind it in this binder thing, and I don't really know how to use it yet, I'm assuming you do this and you bind it, and so instead of the, you know, the, the regular albums with the either the three ring binder or the, the strap hinge or whatever it is, this is going to stay together and it's a perfect gift album um, and I'm looking at this right now, it'd be perfect if I took pictures of my scrapbook pages and then shrunk them down, just printed them off my 8.5 by 11 uh, printer and then made an album for the mother-in-law so she can get off my back because I never send pictures of the grandkids because you know, I stink, I scrapbook all of them. So. Um, anyway, they have many different sizes. Here's a, they cut out, there's a window cut out here. So they've used digital pages. In fact, this would be awesome for the, this would be awesome for the digital, those digital scrapbook pages. Because you can just put them in here and you, you have a professionally, it looks like a professionally bound book. And another thing you can do with this is you can use your Cricut and actually make the title. See, they did all this. This is with Cricut vinyl. I guess the vinyl, uh, vinyl type uh, adhesive. And you run it through the Cricut and stick it right onto the album. This is, see now this, uh, to me, this is a great way of cataloging um, your, your family's heirloom items. You could do like a little, Sort of like an heirloom scrapbook of like what each item meant, how it got in your family. In fact, that's one of the things on my list that I need to do. Um, just so when I'm always worried that when my kids, if whenever I pass, my kids are going to go through my what the heck is this crap and throw it away, and it's like something that's been in the family for a hundred years, you know. Look at this, sisters. This would be a great gift or something to do for. Um, you know, 25th anniversary. I actually noticed that here they took the guest book and they copied it and they made a separate book out of that to give um, maybe the mother-in-law again. It's always the mother-in-law. <laughs> With Eric and he's going to show us how to use this your story. Binder, laminator, what's it called? Your story. Your story. Oh, and one thing I didn't mention before was your story, you can actually get these, they're like pre-made pages that you can then bind and they come with the stickers and the alphabet. So that's pretty cool. Alright, show us how the thing works. Okay. Alright, one nice thing about this your story is it's it's not it's not a it's not a new technology, it's just thermal heating system mm -hmm. that's it's used for. Um, the way it works is on your Right here in the, in the uh, oh, spine here, that. you see it's, it's got glue, yeah. hot glue type material. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about that is, is because when you heat it up, you can redo it. You can add more pages if you need to. Oh, or if you messed it up the first yeah. time, you can take it out? Yeah. That would be me. So like if you did it with a cookbook even, uh -huh. like, say you came up with a new recipe and you just oh, a new page Cookbook. Judith, cookbook. cookbook. Um, yeah, that's cool. Anything. There's such a variety. Um, and it takes any type of material. I mean, I, the first time I ever used it, I pulled out some uh, pictures, mm -hmm. some developed pictures that I hadn't used in forever. Oh, and just, just make a photo right book? Out, oh, I'm just and I just okay. popped them in and, and made it. And, all right, so you stick this thing in so here. here's how this works is, and these come in several sizes. I don't, um, this is this 4x6 mm -hmm. size, and they go all the way up to 12x12. 12 12. Really simple machine is what you do is you push the power on. It would originally would show up with this red light, mm -hmm. switch it to bind, and then it has to heat up. And it takes usually about five minutes, and then the light will turn green, and then I'll let you know when it's ready. So you just place your pages, whatever you're putting into your little binding book. Pop it into the thermal unit and just push bind and it's going to blink. It takes about, in return, 60 seconds to two minutes. What you'll hear is you'll hear an audible beep and the light will go to a solid blue again. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. yeah, we just heard the beep, so now that it's done. I usually just okay. give it a little tap just to set it in and you want to give it a, a, probably five minutes to let it cool down and let it dry again. 
because right now it's still wet. Right. The pages just still fall out. So we have a little cooling rack on the back, and we just set it back there. Okay. Other uh, binders in the market, and they do a great job. They have a good product, um, good quality. But one of the things that we have been able to do is for roughly the uh, same amount of money, we have added in the um, uh, lamination feature. Right, so, okay. So it's a, it's Which cool. is a good way to preserve your kids' artwork. Exactly. Yeah, yep. yes ma'am. Okay, here we go. Here's an example of a finished one. Ooh. All right, and you're saying this is a, yeah, it's laminated. Yeah, what they did and is, bound. Yes, they've laminated the pages. I mean, after they've laminated those, then they've just bound them in Aww, there. Oh, so. a cute little kid. Yeah, this is a, this is a, this is a very nice uh, oh, adoption book that they uh, that they made to uh, document the adoption of their little girl. Oh, that's great. See, and then you can give one to each uh, yeah, right. each in-law, aunt, uncle, godparent. Precisely. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. So we're getting a tour of the cricket, which I have not used yet, but I know it's really cool because my friend has it. Okay, perfect. So now load up. Yes. Okay. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper we're seeing, and it maps it out there for you. You need a, it only runs PC or is it Mac friendly? It only runs on a PC currently. We're working on it. Okay, so then you choose your image and? Let me show you a couple things first because you don't actually have to use the software. Oh, okay, okay. good. Because so I don't have a PC. Yeah, so that's okay. Go. So the machine uh, actually runs standalone and all the artwork is contained in cartridges. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Each cartridge has a corresponding keypad overlay. Okay. That keypad, over, that keypad overlay uh, tells you what's on the cartridge. So you place that the overlay right there on top of the Cricket. Okay. You put your cartridge in. Is that going to have the same images? <laughs> uh, yeah, the images on there are the same. Oh, the same. Okay. On, so on that's here. the Plantin so School Book. So this is a Plantin School Book cartridge. Huh? Are the image? Are the only images? Other than the fonts, the only images you have are, are here, right? So on some some of the cartridges, we have cartridges that have nothing but images on it. Oh, okay. Uh, and this overlay only shows about. That's 10%. what I thought. Okay. So if then you, you go in here, here, here and you have a bunch of different. Yeah, options. each of those keys right. does okay. you know anywhere from That's two to ten images. So this is where the software comes in handy because you because can you actually don't need the see anymore. it. Right. right. Look at there's Rick Rack. That's really cool. Let me take this out here. Okay, so you take a piece of paper. This is like a sticky, oh, it's uh -huh, a little bit sticky. An adhesive yeah. mat, uh, self-healing kind of a mat, mm -hmm. so they last for a long time. Okay. In fact, the adhesive usually wears out long before the mat does. Okay. You just you, uh, push that down evenly just so it doesn't slide off. Put right here in the front of the machine. And now we're going to choose a shape. Well, you load the paper first. Okay. So that feeds it in and now it's ready to go. All right. Now there's a couple settings on the machine you want to check. Mm -hmm. the, since this is just kind of a standard paper, um, generally you want to have your your blade height set to around four or five just for doing paper. So okay. you got to turn that around. Ours is currently set on a on a five, so you can see right there with the arrow, it's just pointing to the five, and that just controls how much blade is exposed on the bottom. Well, how would you know how much? How, we how have a cheat sheet on our website okay. that tells you if you're cutting chipboard, if you're cutting oh, something right. else, okay. it'll tell you what some of the machine settings are. Um, and we'll cut the put the pressure uh, right here. We'll actually do it on high pressure, and it's a fairly simple shape, mm -hmm. so we can probably keep the speed pretty high. And so then we just go ahead and hit cut. Can we do the city? I want to see how detailed do do the, city? the city comes okay. out. Okay. And then that'll do the city. All right. So it's already preloading how it would be on the page. Yeah, it's going to okay. preload it here just so you can see what the image looks like. Okay. And, and I think we got to go. See, so what it's doing is right. it's measuring this height. So yeah. if we go to three inches, it's trying to do it you know, right. two feet long. So we'll go down and let's see if that'll... Pretty cool. I wanted to see how detailed it is. That's pretty detailed. Do you have a toolkit that uh, helps those of us who are nail impaired? Yeah, I just use an exacto knife for everything. Oh, yeah. um, my son is into Spider Man and Batman. Yep. Get so it's be really cute. Right over the city. Yep. Have it black and then add the little highlights with some glitter pens to make it look like the city lights. Thank you so much for showing us the cricket and the software.